we're going to go to our interview with Eric Edwards out of yeah. Langham Creek, Texas. The senior is the top returning hurdler in the nation, uh, is looking at a, a bunch of high-level Division One schools, and he's announcing his commitment uh, right now with us today. We're going to toss it to Eric right now. How you doing, Eric? How you doing? I'm I, good. You have a big choice to make right now. Are, are, what, yes, sir. What's going on? What do you want to do here? Um, well, I'm about to reveal to the world where I'll be spending the next four years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, really? further ado, yeah, for sure. Yes, sir. I will be continuing my education and academic career at the University of Oregon. Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, snap. Nice, dude. Nice, nice. They're a pretty good program. Go Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> They're a pretty good program. Now, Eric, you're right off a great junior year where you won a Pan American Junior Championship. Uh, you set a junior class record in the 110 hurdles at USA Juniors, 1332. I mean, the best season probably you could have imagined. Uh, coming off of that, you know, what are your thoughts, you know, with this commitment? How does it feel to sort of, you know, get that choice down for you and, and commit to Oregon? Oh, uh, man, it's just, um, well, number one, it's a blessing. And two, it's, it's, a, it's a drive. Cause I realized I have a um, I have a target on my back this year, and um, my my past competition in the class of 18 is still here, so it just leads me to um, keep going, keep pushing, and my main goal this year, you know, um, break Wayne Davis's record in the 110 meter hurdles, 13:08. So, stay tuned for that. <laughs> And uh, so you visited Ohio State, Texas Tech, Texas A&M, and uh, Oregon, obviously, as well. Yes, so sir. what separated each school uh, from the other, and, and why did you ultimately choose Oregon? Um, well, each visit was great. Each school was great. They all had their own um, ups and downs. But when I looked at the big picture, I just had to uh, find out where I felt the most comfortable. And Oregon was that place for me, even though it is really far away from my home. <laughs> What kind of made you feel that comfort there at Oregon? What what kind of resonated with you when you went? Um, really just the team. Like I felt comfortable with the team. I felt I could be myself, and the level of competition there is just is it's crazy. Like how the team pushes each other. Um, I re I really enjoy that. How it's really competitive just at practice. So it's unimaginable how it is at the meets. Yeah, how do you think that's going to help with your development? I mean, you got Joseph Anderson, who graduated last year, running there now, Shea Anderson on the girls' side, and then Emily Salone just committed from the class of 2018 as well. Um, you know, how do you think that's going to impact your development, you know, the next four years once you once you arrive there? Oh, man, I think I think it's going to be crazy. One, we're going to be like a hurdle dynasty, and then two. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag hurdle dynasty. I like that. <laughs> it's going to be, competition's going to be crazy. Just at practice, going to be going at it, because, you know, me and Joseph, I haven't got to run against him uh, much until the end of the season, but when we did, it was really competitive, and I enjoy that level of competition. So I'm really excited for that. It's gonna be it's gonna be hot at practice. Ultimately, do you look for that competition that maybe allows you to get better? So going up against a guy like Joseph Anderson every day, do you feel like that's why you chose Oregon? That's gonna allow you to get better in time. It was it was a big part of my decision. Yes, it was. Like you know, just um, going against that high level of competition. You know, U.S. number one and two in the nation in the same school. Having that competition right next to you in practice, that will only make you better. So, you know, yeah, that was that played a big role in my decision. Well, this is a big moment in your life. And obviously going on these official visits are, are really cool. You know, you get to experience different parts of the country and, and explore um, different universities. Was there like a series of moments or a specific moment that made you choose Oregon? It, it was. It was. You know, a lot of people, um, before you take your visit, they're going to tell you, oh, you know, you know or go where it feels comfortable, and they were right. <laughs> when I was in Oregon, um, I was just comparing Oregon to my other visits, and I was like, yeah, this, yeah, that. But like on that second day, I, um, after we got wa got done watching practice, I just went to sleep and then thought about it, and I'm just like, dang, this is, this is really where I wanna be. I really enjoy this place. Was there a particular athlete at Oregon who was like the pitch man or the pitch woman that you know kind of helped you along the process? Well, I mean, <laughs> When I saw Devin Allen walking around casually just training with everyone, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then so him and uh, Joseph, Joseph Anderson was a um, big reason too. Um, so then, you know, looking at these visits, what was like the craziest pitch that you heard from, from coaches from recruiting? Was there any kind of thing like, you know, absurd or anything different? Or maybe what kind uh, of – I mean, they all want you. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, this one coach, he um, – it's funny. He told me he 
he was like, okay, so we want you, but we can't have you. Like, we were talking for, like, the longest of the time. Like, I thought I was going to go there, you know, go on a visit, and everything was going to be smooth. And he was just like, yeah. He told me last minute. Like, I, te- I was texting him in June. He told me last minute, like, in September, a week before I took my first visit. He was like, yeah, we want you, but we can't have you. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> wait, wait, why? <laughs> why? And he said because they – he said it was money reasons. He said he would give me a 30%, but he didn't want to give me a 30%. And so, yeah, it was really strange. I was like, (laughs) okay. That sounds crazy. So, like, I guess to change it a little bit, what was the coolest stadium that you went to? You know, because all these – I see a lot of tweets, like, you guys get to go to a lot of football games and stadiums. What was that that atmosphere like and kind of did that sway or help you at all, like, being in that kind of environment? Uh, Yeah, most most definitely because the um, the fans in Oregon, like – I'm in Texas, and so football is held at a way higher mm-hmm. level than uh, track is. But track is, is still popular in Texas. But at at uh, the University of Oregon, it was just like track was held on the same level as football. It's just like they, people bought season tickets for it. It's just crazy. That's that, that like perfectly leads into the next question I had in mind is you know Hayward Field uh, there at Eugene, Oregon. You know, just there's a magic, there's a lore to it. If you've ever, if you've ever met up there during competition and things like, you know, did the idea of running there have any sway as well? Yeah, it really did. Like, you know, growing up, just watching track, watching NCAA championships, it's always in Oregon. And it's just like, dang, I would really want to be there one day. And then when I went there and we're just watching them practice there, I'm just like, they get to do this every day. Like, this is it's incredible. It was an incredible feeling. So you had a big decision. It's off your chest right now, and you kind of have yeah. a lot of, like, flexibility <laughs> now. But uh, you have a year left, like you said. You have a lot of time to sort of meet expectations and prove the doubters wrong if there aren't any doubters. So what are goals for you this year, Eric, as you finish out your senior season? Well, <laughs> the main goal is um, to beat Wayne Davis's record, 13.08, in the 110-meter hurdles. But my coach set a goal for me, which – it, it can be attainable with a lot of work. He wants me to be the first high school ever to run a 12 in the 110 hurdles on 39. Ooh. Yeah, that's yeah. high. That's, <laughs> that's high. That's, yeah. That's, that's high. <laughs> yeah. Possibilities there. But, like, you know, out of everyone in the nation right now, you're one of the best. And if there's anybody that can do it, I feel like you're one of the guys that can. Thank so. you. Thank you so much for being on our show and announcing your commitment, Eric. This is a big moment for you. So uh, congratulations and have fun today, and, and we will talk to you soon for sure. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh-